Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and if you've already seen my earlier videos about the Apple event yesterday, you will know that Apple launched iTunes 10. Well, I've managed to download the application today and wanted to cover off some of the new features. First new feature, we're going to pop over to my music library, and you've got the various views up here for list view, album art view, cover flow view, and there is a new view here which is list view with cover art. And basically what this does is if your album has five or more tracks, then it will display a little thumbnail of the cover art without taking up any more room. If I scroll down my library, perhaps to this one, we've got the climb, which is a single. So this one doesn't show any cover art. It's sort of contracted that listing just to a single line. So nice new view. Um, I'm not sure if this has changed on this left hand panel here, but it looks a bit bland to me. Uh, not too keen on the, the colouring of this left hand panel. But let's go back to the iTunes store because the biggest new feature of iTunes 10 is Ping. Now if you haven't already signed up to Ping, then when you launch the iTunes store, there will be a Get Started button in this top right hand corner. And you can click the Get Started icon and then it tells you uh, what Ping is all about and asks you to launch Ping for the first time. You can also access it via this left hand panel just underneath the iTunes store. So let's do that, let's go into Ping. This is my Ping homepage and basically what Ping is, is it is sort of social networking for music. It allows you to follow other users and see their likes and dislikes and also allows you to follow artists as well and see what updates they're making to their social networking page. Now this is my home page in Ping, saying welcome Dave, up at the top right hand corner here. We've got a panel here where we can search for people or artists, and I can also invite friends by email to join Ping. Some of these panels, uh, as you hover over them, come up with a little X in the top left hand corner, so you can delete the panel that you're hovering over. Now the next panel down is artists that are recommended that I follow. So I can actually click on any of these and follow these artists. And then people that are recommended I follow. I don't know how it pulls this information in, but I can actually follow individuals as well. Now people that I've already started following, one of them is Adam Christensen from the Maccast. And these are the people that Adam started following and also a comment that I made on Adam's page. And then there's Coldplay, which is one of the artists I'm following. So on my home page, I get Coldplay's updates as well. Let's go all the way back up to the top. I can click on my profile. And on my profile, I've got uh, my name, which is Dave at Geekanoid. So if you want to follow me, please do. I've also got the types of music I like where I live, I've got one follower, and then music I like in the top right hand corner. Now I will say, out of embarrassment, this probably isn't a fair representation of the music I like, uh, so take that with a pinch of salt, this is what Apple has pulled in automatically. And just underneath that I've got an about me, a uh, little bit of text which tells you uh, that I'm the editor of Geekanoids, and just a little bit of information about me. And then my recent activity, saying that I started to follow Coldplay and Adam Christensen. I can go to Edit Profile by clicking here. And here I've got some uh, information that I've typed in, and I can in fact edit that if I wish. Further down, I've got uh, details of how it's going to choose the music that I like to be displayed on my homepage. And also some privacy settings. Uh, which are, allow people to follow me, either with or without approval, and then also an option for not allowing people to follow me. When I'm done, I can click Done, and that saves the settings, and goes back to the previous page. I can also look at my reviews, and these are reviews that I've written about various applications or podcasts, etc. And then if I want to go back to my Ping homepage, I can click the ping shortcut up here. There is a little drop down arrow which allows me shortcuts to recent activity, my profile, people or featured. Let's click on featured first 
and featured gives me some artists that um, ping or recommending that I either follow or look at their pages. Now I've already followed Coldplay, so let's take a look at Coldplay's artist page, and this gives me shortcuts to all of their albums, their songs, quick links, top rated eye mixes, etc, etc, all nicely laid out. And go back to my ping homepage, click again up here. The last one I'm going to click on is people, just to show you my people page. And here, this tells you who I'm following, uh, people who follow me as well. And then if I go back to this tab up the top, I can choose to stop following one of these, or to in fact go to their page. So this is Adam Christensen's page, and it shows the music that Adam likes. And I can click on one of these, and it will give me the option to buy the album or individual tracks. And I can close that window down with the X. It also shows a little bit about Adam, Adam's recent activity, and also a comment that I posted on Adam's page. People can like my comments as well. Uh, you can report comments as well if they're not very nice. And if you are the owner of the page, you can also delete comments. I've got also an option to stop following just down here. So lots of ways of doing things. A little bit mixed up actually because I'm ne never sure whether to click over here or whether to remain in this side of the window. So maybe a little bit of refinement needed there. But overall, a very nice introduction to Ping. Uh, I'll certainly be using it over the next few months. So as I say, if any of you want to follow me, then follow Dave at Geekanoids. I hope this has given you a good overview of iTunes 10 and the new ping feature. Thank you very much for watching. Please come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel.